in the comments to my video for uh, You Never Forget Your First Time. Um, Dan mentioned the uh, music in Mario and how crazy it is, and, and especially in the um, Bowser section and um, how it moves in time with the fireballs. And um, through the magic of um, emulators, we can actually see some pretty neat things about the way that this stuff worked. Um, you know, back then they didn't have a soundtrack you know, like a CD WAV file or an MP3 or something, they had to create it with chips and stuff. So here's um, here's an example of how they use the different chips in Mario to create the sounds. Alright, so here we go, just the square one channel. So those are the things that came out of that chip. Now let's take a look at what's coming out of the square two channel. So you see there's no jumping sound now. Let's take a look at the triangle wave. Seems to be kind of like the, the bass channel in a way. And let's take a look at what's called here the noise channel. Okay, and finally, let's see if there's anything in the extra channels. Because the DMC is just noise on this. I'll turn them both on because I don't think there's anything on the extra channels. Yeah, nothing on the extra channels. Alright, so now let's turn them all off and let's see how things are. Uh, underground. There we go. Alright, so let's see how this is affected. So it looks like for this particular um, level, there's nothing on the square channel music wise, which makes sense. This one's kind of like a really bass. Check out the, squ the second square. So there's some of it there. Triangle wave channel. channel. All right, and let's uh let's put it all back together for a minute there. Let's see how the Bowser... Alright, now let's see how Bowser level sounds. If 
first uh, just the square wave. Okay. Now let's do square wave two. Which uh, seems to match the rotation of the uh, fire there. Let's do the triangle. So that's a lot of the creepy sounds. And uh, we know noise is just noise, but let's see what that gives us. Okay. Oh, I forgot to jump the triangle. There we go. So nothing really from that. All right, let's turn it. Uh, let's listen to just the square wave. Oh, it still sounds a bit creepy with that on, which is pretty interesting. I think for Bowser, for King Koopa, we'll put the uh, triangle, turn off noise, and square. And so there you go. We've taken a look at uh, how Super Mario Brothers and the Nintendo system created the sound that creates this really rich sound that we're used to with Mario.